couple of years ago, I got a letter from a, a fellow working in a prison with people with addictions, drug and alcohol addictions, trying to engage these, uh, these men in the process of rehabilitation. He played a little bit of guitar, so he was kind of teaching them to play guitar, but he only had one guitar. The only guitar that was in the prison belonged to the vicar. And he had to take it home every night to practice playing Kumbaya or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, so um, he asked me if I could help him get some more guitars. Since then, we've been in 30 prisons. And uh, I'm really pleased to say that Joe Guitar Doors is about to start operating here in California and across the United States of America. Joe Guitar Doors is a Clash B-side and uh, the B-side of Clash City Rockers. Mick Jones of The Clash wrote Joe Guitar Doors about friends of his who have been to prison. One of those friends was Wayne Kramer. He's actually in the damn song. Wayne Kramer is the uh, firing experimental guitar player of the MC5 and of his own solo work. He is fearless in his uh, lyrics and music throughout the decades. Wayne Kramer of the MC5, he uh, uh, took the entire ensemble, T uh, uh, Tom Morello, Boots Riley, uh, uh, Perry Farrell, amazing. We all went to Sing Sing Prison in upstate New York and did a gig there. Uh, when, we, when we performed together at Sing Sing Prison, I think uh, for Wayne, a light bulb went off and he realized that he had, uh, he had found his calling as musician and activist in Jail Guitar Doors fits very snugly uh, with his mission as a, both a musician uh, and as someone who is interested in changing the world and helping those uh, that need help most. I need some guitars to give to people that work with prisoners using music as rehabilitation. The, the plan that we're, we're putting together now would call for a, a concert in a city and we can invite a lot of uh, our musician friends to come and play and then a prison outreach event at the closest prison to that city. Inmates in here are working on transforming their lives every single day, and they do that through a variety of means. And one of the means which we're hoping to encourage more is through the use of music. And most of them will be getting out at some point, and they're going to be your neighbors, they're going to be my neighbors. And who do you want getting out of prison? Some guy who is treated like garbage for 20 years, or somebody who's been given new skills and is a different person than when they came in? But these are human beings like you and I who deserve uh, the opportunity to transform themselves, you know? And uh, guitars certainly have been doing that for a long time for outsiders and miscreants that have helped keep us from you know, going to jail one day. Hopefully it can, they provide the same service for those people in jail to help keep them from going back. I think music is a very good creative outlet for their emotion. Somebody can get into a lot of trouble if they're not focused on something positive. The fact that I could play music in prison made all the difference in the world. It gave me uh, something to do and a way to express myself um, that was positive. You know, this is something that's going to you know, make your community better. This is not something that's just done as charity or to you know, help people idle away the time while they're behind bars. We're not given any state funding to have a music program. So community donations are essential in running our program. I think we have to be specific and focused on one simple idea, that we find people that work in prisons using music as rehabilitation, and we provide them with instruments, guitars, mostly. One, two, three, four! Let me tell you about